This side has a pump pro into a neon logger. This is a terrestrial or cellular neon logger. So we take the cover off and we can plug our 9 pin cable into here into our laptop. So we're going to open up star log 4. We're going to go select our scheme, in this case a generic embedded scheme for an NRT based logger. And then we're going to check our comms. So if you don't know your comms, you can try ones that you've, you're used to. Try connecting when you go into test mode. Enable to open. So it's obviously the wrong COM port. So either that can happen. Or maybe you try one of your regular COM ports, or you go to the uh, control panel under device manager and look at your ports here. And this will tell you straight away. We've got I've got a, using a Keyspan USB, and it tells me there it's on COM two. So I can go back straight to COM two down the bottom and it should connect yep you can see the uh, embedded scheme uploading now it tells me it's loaded the channel information comes up and the data also populates there it is now so we can see the stage values this, this has mean sea level added to it so there's 110 meters added to it and voltages. So we can see above here we've got the raw stage depth, the stage with the offset of 110 meters added to it, and also our voltages. So we can also download from this site and data recovery. Unload. So when it's finished, you'll see the files here with its date. Double click, we'll open it again in the graphic tool. You can use the filters now to display one item at a time. So here we are looking at just the stage values only. You can see there's been a little bit of a flood recently, so we can blow up that last few days. And just look at that hydrograph, how does the data look? So you can either look at it graphically or list it as well, so we can see the uh, individual values. Back to test mode check we're happy with everything and always remember to fill out your logbook while at site